Today we'll be looking to see if we can use the vapor blaster to remove some of the coating on this uh, tumbler here and give us a cool effect. We'll be using a stencil that I created using a Cricut vinyl cutter. Yeah, we're going to put the Space Force logo on it and uh, I'll go ahead and prep the cup up and show you guys uh, how the logo came out and what you need to do to get this thing ready for the vapor blaster. We'll be uh, blasting with 80 grit garnet at 15 PSI uh, to 20 PSI, probably somewhere, somewhere in between there. Let me go ahead and prep this up and we'll be right back. Guys, if you like some of the content I'm putting out, make sure to like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Turn on your notification bells, that way you know as soon as I release new material. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, I like using a program called GIMP for editing pictures. It's open source, it's free, and it's full of uh, different features. I'm going to use it to uh, configure the picture that I'm going to etch onto the tumbler. There's a few things that need to be done to it to get it to work properly. So I'm going to walk through those steps. What you want to do is download a picture that you found that you want to work with. Open it in GIMP. Once you get the picture open, the next thing you want to do is you want to select everything that's black. You can use the little wand tool, set it at 50%, and click on the areas that you want to remove. In this case, it's going to be everything that's black. So just click on Cut, or you can use the Delete key. Continue selecting the black and get rid of it. Next thing you want to do is use the paint bucket tool. Select the paint bucket tool. Make sure that you're uh, selecting black. Click on the gray part. Oh, and you need to unselect uh, anything that might be highlighted. Click on the gray part and the bucket's going to fill everything that's gray in black. Continue to do that for the rest of the letters. Then you're going to use the wand tool again and you're going to select everything that's white. You can use the shift key to add to your selection. So shift and then click again will add another, another part. Then you want to go over to select, click on invert, click on edit, then copy. And now you're going to export that to a new image. So paste as, new image. And now what it's giving you is an image without a background, which is what you want. Next thing you want to do is you want to export this. And you want to make sure that you select for file type PNG. So give it a name. And select PNG. The difference between PNG and JPEG is the PNG will keep the transparent background, which you're going to need for this next step. Go ahead and click export. All right, and then now you can just close your GIMP uh, tool. You no longer need it. Next thing you want to do is, if you're using a Cricut tool like I am, go ahead and open your Cricut design space. Once it loads up, what you're going to need to do is import the picture that you just created with GIMP into this Cricut program. So click on New Project. And then on the bottom left, there's a little upload, like a little cloud with an upload. You're going to click on that. Click on Upload Image. Browse. And then navigate over to where you saved uh, the GIMP picture. There it is right there. Double click it or click once and, and then click open. 
and you want a simple design you don't really need any details or anything just click simple continue once you have it in this mode click continue again and then it gives you two choices the one on the right will cut it out the one on the left will draw it you want to cut it out so select the one on the right and then you're gonna pick that first one which is the one that we just created click on it then select insert image and what that's going to do is it's going to put it into your workspace. Now we're going to have to resize this. I've already determined that about three inches is going to be the best size for the tumbler. So go ahead and adjust it. And what you what I do is I use the measurements on the mat. If you notice, it has one, two, three, four. So I just place it between one and four. I know that's three inches. Then I go ahead and I just move it. And then you want to click the little green button on the top right that says make it. It's going to load up an image of the mat and at this point you can move it anywhere you want on the mat so if you uh, want to create several of them you would just create several copies click continue and then now the next steps are going to be on the uh, Cricut machine itself you're going to select the material type in this case we're going to use vinyl which is already selected on the printer there's a dial and you could select the material type from there what you're going to do next is you're going to put your vinyl on the uh, sticky mat. Then click on where it says feed. The machine is going to go through a little process. Then you're going to click the little Cricut logo and it's going to start to cut it out. Once it's complete, just click the unload button. It'll pull the mat out. And then from here, all you need to do is pick out the excess vinyl to expose the parts that you want to etch. And everything that's blue is what we're going to uh, remove. The vinyl is simply protecting what we don't want to remove along with everything that's taped in blue. So let's get it loaded up in the machine. We'll give it a shot and see if uh, we can expand the capabilities of vapor blasting. Guys, we're going to be blasting at 20 PSI. And I've had a couple of you ask me how I turn my pump on and off. I like to keep things real simple. The pump came with this little float that simply needs to be pointed up. All I did was fashion a little uh, wire hook here using one of the, the one of the bolts that came down from the cabinet. Little piece of rubber hose that I pushed onto it and then inserted the little end of the wire into that I created a small hook as you guys can see and the way that it works is real simple all I do is grab my 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 float and you can see there I have a document binder that is uh, grabbing the end of it and then all I do is flip it up see the pump turn on and I just hang it there so that's it super simple nothing complicated when I want to turn it off, I just unhook it and just drop the float and it shuts off. Simple as that, guys. Make sure to keep your nozzle 
about eight inches away from the tumbler when you're blasting pressure no more than 20 psi i wound up uh, running it at 20 psi just patience until you see the blue color come off and you see the stainless steel so there you have it amazing detail super cool yet another thing you can do with the uh, vapor blasting system thanks for watching guys